All right, we do have some spot snow showers out there, all thanks to some lake effect snow as we're heading into the afternoon. That's expected to continue. Best chances to see some of that will be up into uh, both the uh, Beaver County area and Lawrence County, also Mercer County. And we could be looking at some of this snow, actually putting just enough uh, snow down that we could be looking at a little bit of a dusting on area roadways just briefly this afternoon. It's 27 now. The airport is reporting some uh, light snow out there. Winds out of the west, nine miles an hour. The barometer, 30, 38 hundredths of an inch of the dew point coming in at 13 degrees. Here's a look at those temperatures for you. 27 in Butler, Catanic 26, 26 in Pittsburgh, and Denora 30 degrees. It's also 26 in the trope. Factor in the wind speed, feels like about 14 out there, so it's still cold. You're going to want to bundle up as you're heading out the door. Here's those spot showers for you. We're not going to really focus on any one of them because well, there's a lot of them out there, but this is fairly light to moderate snow, and it will not last long. If you see one of those snow showers, it'll be in and out. Anything that's on the ground will disappear, and then you might have another chance another 15 or 20 minutes later for some more snow to slide through. Not as cold today. 32 is what we are uh, forecasting for a high temperature today. It might be a struggle to get there. We're at 27 now, so we have our work cut out for us. We'll put the uh, 2 o'clock temperature right at 30 degrees, 32 at 4, 6 o'clock 30 degrees, and you can see it holding steady into the mid-20s in the overnight hours. We have more in the way of rain chances and snow chances over the next couple of days. We'll show you that coming up. Here's a look at today's low temperatures, including 16 in Pittsburgh. Been talking about it all day long. Coldest start to March in nearly 40 years is what we've seen. Just the first six days. Likely it'll be the next uh, today, too. We'll still be one of the coldest first weeks we've seen in March. We'll look at those numbers later. It's been four days since temperatures were actually above the freezing mark. The average high for this time of the year, 45 degrees. There's a look at the next seven days. The good news, temperatures are expected to warm up. In fact, we'll be right around 60 degrees for a high temperature on Sunday. I will point out to you, though, that you're going to have to be up early in the morning. Seems like that's always the case over the weekends lately in order to enjoy the weather. There's the lake effect snow coming in. You can see it right around the Cleveland area. We're going to be watching. See that snow that's in uh, southern parts of Indiana at this point? That's going to be the leading edge of a little area of low pressure that will slide in here. This is tomorrow, 10 o'clock. So up until then, dry. So the morning commute will be dry. A little bit of snow might work its way in over the course of the late morning hours into the early afternoon hours. The big concern for me, you see the pinks, some freezing rain will be possible as we're heading into the afternoon hours. That's the big concern at this point. That moves off and then we get another big system. Notice the temperatures really going up. Right as this rain arrives, temperatures go up 60 in Columbus and then the cold front comes through and they drop. That's going to be the same for us. So the cold front slides through right at about 4 or 5 o'clock. Temperatures sliding after that and will be cooler for the rest of the day. Here's your seven day outlook, including that slow warm up. Snow and rain chance tomorrow, mainly south of I-70 is what we're looking at. And then the nice warm up for the rest of the weekend.